Hi everyone. Good evening to all. Today we are going to discuss about the automatic thrust equalizer, which is used for turbo expander compressor arrangement. This this uh, this AT is a beautiful design, and it is designed in a such a way that uh, you know the rotor thrust is automatically controlled, and this is used for you know uh, low oil low oil machines whereas in case of uh, you know magnetic bearing machine turbo expander compressor system the principle is the same but uh, that is controlled by you know the axial current of uh, expander and compressor side whereas in low oil machine it is automatically controlled because of you know cylinder arrangement piston cylinder arrangement which is connected to the walls which controls the flow through the wheel pressure so i'm sure this video is going to be very interesting so please do keep watching until the end and subscribe my channel thank you so let's begin the discussion on automatic thrust equalizer system this is a, a expander compressor machine and at is installed on expander side or sometime compressor side however we will discuss for at operation in when when it is installed on compressor side so this is expander side machine and this is compressor side both are connected with a single shaft so this is expander in and expander out process gas compressor in and compressor out this is from compressor side this 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 is the photograph of AT which is installed on expander compressors arrangement system this is compressor side so this is compressor AT this is AT piston cylinder arrangement and then which is connected to the walls and this is expander side you can see closely here similarly another picture this is a ATE this AT is uh, you know the port which is connected to the bearing thrust uh, pressure this is top side and bottom side and similarly this is expander this is compressor the closer view of ATE automatic thrust equalizer sometimes it is also called automatic thrust balancer so ATB both are same so this is a you know cylinder piston arrangement of AT. This is the wall which is connected, and here there is a ceiling arrangement. So gas should not come here. Similarly, oil should not be leakage. It should not pass through this side. So there is O-ring over there, and there is a two ports. This is top on the expander bearing oil thrust pressure which is connected here, and this is a compressor bearing oil thrust pressure which is connected here. Now you see the cut view of uh, expander compressor arrangement. This is expander, this is compressor. Both are connected on the single shaft. And if you see, this is the wheel pressure of compressor. This is simply this is wheel pressure of expander. Wheel pressure, call it. And this is a thrust collar of shaft, and this is a bearing for a compressor side. This similarly for this side, this is expander bearing and uh, this is thrust faces of uh, shaft so there is a minimum clearances over there since oil is circulating so there will be a thrust pressure on compressor side bearing and similarly oil thrust pressure on expander side bearing and both are connected to ate port and this is the wheel pressure which is where the gas is you know gas this is a process gas wheel pressure which is connected through AT and connected to suction of compressor. Same arrangement is shown here. The gas, this is exp this is a expander in process gas. And because of this, you can see this is wheel pressure here. And this is expander outlet. Similar, this is compressor suction. This is compressor discharge. And this one is the compressor wheel pressure. So this is expander wheel pressure. This is compressor wheel pressure. 
and this is a bearing which is fixed for expander bearing this is compressor bearing and the shaft is moving or rotor is moving and because of this the clearances changes when the rotor or shaft moves this direction the gap or clearances will minimum or decrease and because of this the oil thrust pressure increases which is connected to you know this portion of uh, ate so this is port of expander side this is port for compressor side this is filled oil is filled so whatever pressure is here is the same pressure here this is expander pressure this is compressor pressure compressor wheel pressure and this ate which this is a cylinder as piston cylinder arrangement this is piston outside is cylinder and the piston is moving because of differential pressure of the oil differential pressure on expander and compressor side when expander is more than it pushes towards this direction if compressor oil thrust pressure is more it pushes this side and uh, this this is connected to you know the wall and this wall gets open when it is closes the uh, pushes this side wall gets closed when pushes this side wall gets open and because of this opening and closing the wheel pressure of compressor gets relief when the wall is open the wheel pressure is more than suction pressure so whatever wheel pressure it passes through and comes here when it is fully open the the wheel pressure becomes equal to suction pressure when it is fully closed then wheel pressure will be more than suction pressure of compressor now we need to discuss uh, two scenario that is case one when rotor is moved towards the expander side then how at will control such that rotor returns to the center this is case one similarly we will discuss when rotor is moved towards the compressor side then what how it will control so this is case one so rotor is moved towards the expander side this rotor has moved towards the expander side because of process offset and or maybe non uh, off design operation of this and because of this this rotor has moved bearing is fixed the gap between you know bearing thrust faces and collar of the shaft decrease and because of this the oil pressure increase so we can say that oil pressure of expander or thrust oil pressure of expander side has increased you see expander bearing oil thrust pressure increases why because the clearance between the bearing expander bearing and and the shaft has decreased and because of this oil pressure has increased so this pressure has now become more and since this pressure is more than this pressure so oil pushes the cylinder or oh sorry piston towards this side which will close the at valve similarly and because of this pressure it closes the at valve so whatever is flowing that will be closed and because of this the wheel pressure expand compressor wheel pressure starts increasing so this compressor wheel pressure is increased that it pushes the rotor towards this side and so rotor comes to the center you can see the wheel pressure pushes this side direction and because of this rotor comes to the center so this is case when rotor is moved towards expander side and at controls in a such a way that rotor returns to the center now case two when rotor is moved towards the compressor side then how it will control so same way let's say the rotor has moved towards the uh, compressor side and because of this the clearance between the shaft and the compressor bearing has decreased and because of this the ex compressor side thrust bearing pressure has increased so the compressor bearing oil thrust pressure increases because of you know decrease in the clearances or gap and what will happen then since the compressor thrust pressure is more than this the it will oil pressure pushes the you know piston towards this side and so valve will gets opened and because of this opening in the valve the compressor wheel pressure releases to the suction of compressor so this pressure has decreased and because of this rotor is moved towards this side that is on 
expand the side or you can call it whatever is moved it moves towards the center so this is thrust pressure equalize so automatic thrust equalizer reduces the thrust bearing load forces because of the use of this the thrust pressure or thrust load of the bearing has decreased so i hope uh, you have understood the function and you know the working of the automatic thrust equalization so thank you thank you for watching